Sudan Stop Generals warn their patience has limits. They want the protesters on the streets of the capital Khartoum to remove roadblocks, checkpoints and allow trains to bring food supplies across the country. We are responsible and we have to take responsibility as a military council. As a transitional military council, we have to protect the citizen and protect the law. We will not accept any chaos or attack on civilians and their properties and properties of the state. And we will deal with this firmly and in accordance with the law. This is what we wanted to clarify to the Sudanese people. We do not want to add insult to injury. The army's warning comes after talks with the opposition hit a snag. The two sides have agreed to form a new body to run the country until the next elections. The army wants a majority in the transitional body. And so far it has avoided an escalation that might lead to an armed confrontation. We have made many concessions for the sake of protecting our nation and preventing scenarios similar to what happened in neighboring countries. We wanted talks to end quickly so that the tension de-escalates. But the young activists behind the mass protest movement that toppled President Omar al-Bashir worry the military is buying time to prevent a civilian takeover. They say they want the army's role restricted and its influence contained during the transitional period. In a press conference on Tuesday, Sudan's professional association denounced the military, saying they have no desire to give up power to civilians. The military council is not serious about transferring power to civilians. It is clear they want to keep power and retain it for themselves. This is unacceptable. The revolution did not take place in order to stop a unilateral military regime into another unilateral military regime. Therefore, this will not be accepted and is not acceptable. Strong statements, threats and ultimatums have replaced the soft and optimistic language of the last few days, casting doubts over the prospects of the talks that are now stalled until further notice. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera, Khartoum.